When you read a thriller, you expect high stakes, intense situations, and up stress for the protagonist. For example, in my U.S. Marshall series, Jonas and Madison have been called in to escort a dangerous prisoner when their plane goes down and the pilot is killed. Suddenly, they're thrust into this life and death situation in a remote location in the Pacific Northwest with a fugitive who is willing to do anything to stop them from finding him, even if it means ensuring they never make it out alive. Now, one of the things I love about writing is the ability to write strong characters, men and women who risk their lives to save others and who fight for justice. Psychological thrillers add a twist to this. In the lies we believe, Riley Bishop is a strong woman, but she's also a single mom after raising her children when her husband died and betrayed her. When strange things start happening to her that don't make sense, she's faced with the possibility that she's slipping away from reality, just like her mom did years ago. In this heightened emotional state, she doesn't always make the right decisions, and yet, we as a reader watching desperately want her to make the right decisions. The problem is, what happens when she doesn't? I don't like where the conversation is going. Being a single mom is a thousand times harder than I thought it would be. And it's not just the fact that you have to do everything. It's the emotional toll that comes with it. And in the end, it's too easy to fail and let them all down. Like my mother failed me.